I'm Ian Baker, and today we're going to go over the 2019 Jayco J Flight 264 BHW. This is a West Coast version of the Jayco J Flight. The 264 is an awesome layout. Uh, they do a really good job of really maximizing the space and giving you everything you want in a travel trailer without the need of a slide. So with this one, we get a sofa, we have a dinette, we have double over double bunks, an 80 inch queen bed, and a good size bathroom. So let's actually start off on the dinette here. The thing I like about this is the fact it is a campsite dinette. And this is where you'll you know be uh, sitting down, having your breakfast, enjoying your morning cup of coffee. And I prefer the site out to my campsite rather than out at my neighbor's. Also, there is enough room for four people here. This does drop down into a bed. Uh, not the largest bed in the world, but if you have a child or you know an adult wants to curl up, it can certainly accommodate them. Underneath is an electrical outlet, so if you need to plug in like a laptop, tablet, cell phone, you have the capability to do that there. Right up above, you'll see some additional storage as well as the multimedia center right over here to the side. This is a DVD player, so if you want to watch a movie, you can toss it right in there. Uh, and one of the things I do like is it actually uses an HDMI cable from here to the back of the TV rather than the old uh, RCA style cables. Uh, also, that is Bluetooth capable, controls the speakers in here as well as outside, so you can connect to that via Bluetooth with your smart device. TV right up top, so that way you can view it from the sofa or from one side of the dinette there as well. You'll see your thermostat mounted on the wall here. This does control your heat as well as your ducted AC. In the very back are the double over double bunks. Big teddy bear bunk series. You can see how nice and soft they are here. LED lights both the top and bottom. You have windows as well. And uh, you'll see an electrical outlet down there in case you need to plug in, again, any electronic devices. Cool thing about the Jayco though, folks, is that these bunks are 600 pound weight capacity. So if you wanna you know, have an adult weekend, you wanna put two adults, you know, a couple per bunk, it can certainly handle the weight. Right here in the back is the bathroom. So this one you'll see has a foot flush lever toilet. It has a porcelain bowl, which means it's easier to clean. It'll stay looking nicer longer. Plenty of leg room, great shoulder space here. Toilet paper uh, roll is easy to access. You know, it's not tucked away or hiding behind me. It's right in front of you, right where you want it. The tub shower is over to the side. I like having a tub in a bunk model because if you have little ones that need to take a bath, you're still able to do that. Plus it's a higher threshold wall so the curtain stays in there better. It's not getting water all over the floor. As far as shower height, I am six foot. As you can see, I have a little bit of clearance here, even more with that skylight. So if you're six two, six three, you can stand under the skylight and not have to bend down when you're taking a shower. Stepping back out over to this side is where your sink top and vanity will be here, which I personally like this setup because that way if you know a couple people are getting ready, you know the uh, you can be taking a shower while the kids are brushing their teeth or something like that. You'll see the electrical outlet there, also mirrored medicine cabinet right up top. Uh, you do have some storage underneath, I'll show you that, it's actually a pretty big area as well as plumbing access. Moving back to the front, we get into the kitchen. Norcold fridge freezer combo. I'll open that up for you so you can take a look. Plenty of space in there, folks. You also have crisper drawers. This one runs off both uh, propane and electric and has automatic switchover. Microwave right up top with a hood underneath, having both your light and fan. You have the Dometic cooktop with the upgraded grates here. Right underneath is the oven for some baking. You will see the seamless countertops throughout, which are gorgeous. You know, you don't have to worry about T-mold or anything popping off. And it also allows you to undermount the sink, which is a much cleaner look. You have a double equal bowl in this camper with the high-rise pull-out faucet, making it very easy to wash and rinse dishes. On the wall, you'll see another electrical outlet in case you need to plug in like a coffee maker or toaster. Your tank monitoring panel is directly above that. Do note that your water heater will run off both LP and electric, and you can turn both on at the same time for faster recovery. You will see storage directly up top. Also, storage underneath, you'll notice you have enough space there for a trash can and two drawers that we have a spot for your flatware as well as some of your larger utensils. Kind of midship here, being a divider, giving you a little bit more of a private bedroom you have the jackknife sofa. The thing I like about this is again, they were able to fit a sofa in this floor plan without having a slide. 
and I have a great shot right to the TV. This will probably be the primary spot you want to sit here. Also, you know, if you have kids or other adult guests, it helps provide that additional seating. It also does drop down into a bed if, again, if you need some additional sleeping space. Now, they have the half wall here. Uh, there's a lot of manufacturers that make kind of this style of floor plan. Some of them have a full wall. Some of them have the cutout here. You know, some of them, it goes all the way across. There is nothing here at all. And, you know, while when you have the full wall, it does create more privacy, but it also makes the RV seem a lot shorter. So when you cut it out like this, it gives that illusion of being more open. It feels more open when you're inside. And again, you do have the privacy curtain to close off, so you, you do get some privacy at night. Right in the center of the bedroom is the Simmons queen bed. It's nice and comfortable, a little bit, you know, kind of an upgraded mattress over what you get in some of the other manufacturers. You'll also notice you have storage underneath, big storage, easy to access. It is strut supported right there, and it does share access uh, or storage space with the access from outside. On both sides, you have nightstands. They are quite large. You have electrical outlets there too. So whether you need to charge a phone or plug in a CPAP machine, you're able to do that on both sides. Right up above that, you will see the storage. You have shelves on the one side. The other side over here is a wardrobe with a hanging rod. You also have a shelf connecting the two with some LED lights there. And if you want a TV in the bedroom, you can see the hookups are on this wall. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features on the J-Flight SLX 264BHSW. Right up front here is a power tongue jack. This makes it nice and easy to hook up and disconnect from your tow vehicle. Simply flip the rocker switch to raise and lower the tongue. You also have a light here for added visibility at night. Directly behind that are two 20-pound propane tanks, and you will see rails there for your battery. Coming up the front is black diamond plating, helping to protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that may get thrown up by your tow vehicle. And right down here is solar prep. So if you want solar, simply buy the portable panels, plug it in right there. It's already pre-wired and it'll trickle charge your battery. Coming around to the side. So as I mentioned inside, this storage right here shares the same storage as underneath the bed, but you can see you do get a full pass through. So you're able to fit some larger items in there power awning touch a button to roll that out same thing to have it go back in this one does have led light strip in it as well as speakers built right into the base there so that way uh, you know it's kind of a, a two-in-one and the music's playing right at your campsite to get into the rv you'll notice the foldable grab handle here as well as the two fold out steps the grab handle helps give you that extra control when you're entering the rv to make sure you're not going to slip and hurt yourself if you want TV outside, this is where the TV will be mounted at. You will also see your uh, electrical outlets here as well as your cable and satellite outlet. And again, all that is built for your outside TV. Right underneath the aluminum alloy wheels, which look beautiful now and will stay looking gorgeous for years to come because aluminum doesn't rust. And just in case that front storage wasn't quite enough for you, take a look at this, folks. You get the large storage area right here underneath that rear bunk. Coming around to the back side, a couple quick features I want to talk about. One is the rear mounted ladder, so you can quickly and easily climb up onto the fully walkable roof. Jayco has an extremely strong roof with the Magnum Truss roof system. You will also see the square tubular bumper. It does have end caps. That way it gives you a convenient spot in which you can store your sewer hose. Mounted to that bumper is your spare tire with the cover, which hopefully you never have to use, but if you do, super easy to access. You don't have to crawl down on your hands and knees. If you take a look underneath there, you will see this one has an enclosed underbelly to help keep out some of the road grime and hopefully keep some of the critters out in the off season. And if you take a look right up top center, you'll see this one also has backup camera prep. So if you want a backup camera, the prep makes it easier to install, meaning it'll save you money on labor. On the off-door side, you will see your cable and satellite inlet right up top. If we drop down underneath, you will see your termination with both your gray and black tank valves. Speaking of black tank, this one also comes with a black tank flush to help wash out any debris that get left in the black tank. Outside shower with hot and cold water access here. 30 amp power cord is housed there. City water inlet right over here. Uh, one thing I did forget to mention is this one does have the Dexter axles on there with the never adjust brakes as well as the easy lube hubs, which makes maintenance much easier for you. 
And then lastly, right up front is your gravity fill for, to fill your freshwater tank. All right, folks, and that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2019 Jayco J-Flight SLX 264BHW. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you would like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.